here in New York City. This is Boxing This Is Top Rank, presented by Hall of Fame boxing promoter, Mr. Bob Aram, who's right with us here in the front row. Bob, always a pleasure to have you with us. Here we go. This is our main event, a massive showdown here in New York, Saturday, June 10th, the theater at Madison Square Garden, brought to you by Boost Mobile, Money is Power, by AutoZone, Get in the Zone, by Bud Light, the official beer of celebrations, and by DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the app today. With us now, the former lightweight king, the WBO number one contender, Teofimo Lopez. And the champion, the reigning, defending, ring, lineal, WBO, junior, welterweight champion of the world, Josh Taylor. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Uh, we're going to be cordial. We're going to sit on these chairs and we're going to talk for a few minutes. It's been, uh, it's been an incredible build-up to get to this fight. Puerto Rican Day Parade weekend in New York City. Champ, we'll start with you. First time to New York. How excited are you to be here? Yeah, yeah I'm excited to be here. You know, um, I've been here before a few years ago with Carl Frampton on the undercard. But being involved in a big fight in the main event like this, doing the Empire State Building and stuff like that, yeah, it's been cool. It's been really cool being here, yeah. I, I, was, I wrote that down. You've been making the rounds. Uh, the city has embraced this fight. It's everywhere. People are talking about it. Uh, how long have you been here? And are you settled, ready to go? Yeah, I've been here about um, 10 days now, um, 10, 12 days now. Um, come over nice and early to get used to sort of the heat. I was expecting the heat, but it's not been so hot. So, hot. so yeah, it's been, uh, it's been okay for me, you know, being Scottish, used to the cold weather. So, yeah, I haven't had to adjust too much to the heat. So, yeah, it's been pretty cool, but just nice and easy and settled in nicely, yeah. What would you think of that, uh, that cloud storm from Canada with all the orange skies? It's a little trippy the other day. Yeah, it was mad. I was out walking yesterday um, up Times Square. And it just come over, and it was all, it was quite quite cool. He got some good cool photos and stuff. Yeah, it was quite cool. Tiafimo, I want to come to you. You've been pretty vocal about this this fight. Is that genuine hostility, or is it just promoting the fight? It's what it is, man. I, I speak my truth, and that's how I feel. Yeah. So, you know, everything that I I speak out, you know, I'm just trying to make it into existence. You know, um, law of attraction. You know, um, having good faith in it and just put it on a show and giving what the fans really want to see, you know, an outstanding performance. You conquered the lightweight division. What would it mean to take over the junior welterweight division? Oh, it means everything. I mean, what is the takeover if he doesn't take over the guys that are the kingpin of the division, right? So when it comes to Josh Taylor, junior welterweight, uh, he is the guy. And that's the guy that you got to beat to be the greatest, right? So this is what we aim for all the time. Yeah, Josh, I want to come back to you. Same thing. There's been a lot of talk. You know, you guys have been promoting this fight, and it's gotten nasty at times. Is that genuine, or is this just uh, two, two really great showmen promoting a fight? No, I think it's a little bit genuine. You know, he says what he means. Um, I mean what I say as well, and so I got that wrong there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I say what I mean as well. So, yeah, there's a little bit genuine just dislike here. Um, he's been disrespectful. So, yeah, and a lot of words he's said, I'm going to make him pay for on Saturday. So, yeah, I can't wait to get in there and get touring amongst them. What do we see Saturday night? Josh Taylor win. That's all. Possibly by KO. Nice and early as well. Taylor, I want to come to you. What do we see Saturday night? Big, <laughs> big smile. Yeah, man. Uh, work my ass off, man. About 11 weeks of camp. This one being 12. But fight week, we don't really count. Um, you know, for me, I think it's just really uh, the best version of me that I have yet to see in myself. You know, I, I question myself because I know I'm greater. And every true artist always does that. We aim for perfection, but there's only one perfect person that's perfect, and that is God. So for me, I think it's just practice makes improvement, and we've improved since my last fight. And we're ready to put on that show, and I think that we will win, most definitely. And I believe that, uh, you know... I'll be what? Two lineal, two time world champion? That's dope. I want to ask you the, the same question. A couple of years since we've seen vintage T.O., and I think you would agree it's been a couple of fights since we've seen vintage Josh. How do you forget about the past appearances that you've both recently had and put on the best possible versions of yourself Saturday night? We'll start with you, champ. Listen, we, we can both go on our uh, previous performances and say, you know, you're only as good as your last fight. But I believe that's a lot of shit. You know, I, I prepared crap for the last fight. So I performed crap. You know, he, I believe he was the same. Takes the eye off the ball. 
um, and he, he performed crap as well, you know, so we both got the bit between our teeth here, you know, he's he's up against the king of the division, I know he's a good fighter, the, the version that beat um, Lomachenko is a very good fighter, that's the version that I'm preparing for, so um, it, it's all about your preparation, and this time I've prepared diligently and to the best of my ability, and you'll see the, you'll see the best of me on Saturday night. Teal, same to you. We want to see that vintage Tio Lopez on uh, Saturday night. Are you there? Fuck yeah, I'm there. Heck yeah, man. I'm excited about this. This is like a, a dream come true, turning into reality. I mean, what more can you really shoot for? You know what I mean? This guy, no one really has called out Josh Taylor. Who knows why? Maybe because he beat everybody already. So for me, I'm here. I'm here to come in there and take everything that you got. That's where we are, the takeover. Good. Where what? It's nice and try, good. I can't wait till you come and try. Can't wait. Oh, ain't no trying try. with me, man. Yeah. That's just the thing, though. That's, That's the all thing. it's going to be. It's going Everybody to be got a plan until they get punched in the face. Shout out to Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson again. Here we go. Clown. <laughs> you not got any quotes of your own? I do have one. I just made it up yesterday. I think it says, aim for death. <laughs> for that's where life begins. Oh, uh, okay. Wow. No comment. I think it's a good one. You aim at death, for that's where life begins. Everybody's scared of death. I don't know why. We're all going to die. But at least if I die, I'm dying for something that, I, that means something that's going to last forever. It's what greats are all about. Something that you don't really know. It's what it is, man. Hey, at the end of it all, I'm ready to take over, put on a show for everybody. Listen, um, it's been a great run. Thank you to Top Rank. Thank you, ESPN, for the love and support. Uh, for myself, what, this is my seventh year now as a professional and about to be a seven-time world champion within that time frame. I mean, that's great. At 25 years young, I mean, this is what we're all about, man. Remaking history, making history, and giving the fans and giving the kids, the youth, a good thing to follow on. They need that. They need that, that, um, that motivation to know that they could do it too. The only way you can, there's earth, there's man, and in between that, you bring the realization within yourself from the heavens.